Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click on the bell icon, you'll be the only way to be updated. Support this channel by subscribing to this channel. The government of Qatar sets the maximum price for recruitment of domestic workers from the recruitment agencies. A maximum price cap was set for the recruitment of um, domestic workers from the recruitment agencies. What does it mean? That in case you want to get or in case you want to recruit a domestic worker to work for you in your home, it may be in your home, it may be for your family, uh, from you need from the recruitment agency, there's some given amount of money that you are supposed to pay or what you're supposed to deposit with that recruitment agencies at the TV. And this is a fixed amount of money uh, fixed by the government uh, in conjunction with uh, the Minister of, uh, Mil uh, Minister of Commerce uh, in partnership with the Ministry of Labor that partnered together to see that they set a maximum um, price cap for recruitment of domestic workers in Qatar. Remember, uh, the new charges apply to different nationalities uh, all together and we shall see all the nationalities given in their own recruitment cap. And remember, out still out of uh, this uh, out of this recruitment process or out of this recruitment uh, guidelines, uh, it is it is it, it is noted that the employer who will get to recruit you from the recruitment agents has a right to terminate your contract uh, in the three months. He has a, uh, in, in case you don't prove to be satisfactory, you don't prove to be doing the work well, then he has the right to terminate your contract as per as per what is abide in the rules and regulations by the government that is put and still more on that that after you serve the three months uh, of your probation then the last six months if you continue to work in case you're not terminated and you continue to uh, to continue to work with that employer then the recruitment agency will get 15 percent each month from the employer's deposit, uh, of which the 15% that will be got from the employer's deposit, it will be the same amount that will be shared by the recruitment agencies and part of it all will be given to the government, uh, will be paid to the government as part of the subsidy that is agreed upon. Why? Because of some uh, unavoidable scenario that may, scenarios that may happen. For example, if a worker tends to run away from his employer or in case the worker gets here with some colonical diseases that needs to treatment and cannot work anymore. And in case, in, in case at one situation or, or the other, if um, the worker refuses to work for that employer, then those are some of the charges that could direct uh, charges from uh, charged by the government to the recruitment agencies. However, in, in this kind of false recruitment process that uh, recruitment, new cap recruitment fees that we get to look at, still under the same cause or still under the, the, the same the same, the same uh, uh, policy, we find that the employer here, the employer him or herself, uh, in case he gets to violate or breaches the contract that is being signed with a domestic worker or with a recruitment agency regarding that worker, uh, she or she may be not be refunded back the amount of money that she paid as he's getting that partial from the recruitment process. In today's, I'm just going to read through what the article or what the Ministry of uh, uh, Commerce in partnership with the Ministry of Labor, what they had to say or what they discussed or what kind of decree they had to put for the recruitment phase and which kind of charges they put to particular nationality, which nationality and which nationality that we need to know. Maximum price for recruitment of domestic workers. Ministry pegs recruitment fees for domestic workers in Qatar. The Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Partnership with the Ministry of Labor has announced a fixed recruitment fee for domestic workers. Remember, the new measures uh, uh, looks at efforts to combat the unofficial increase in the cost of recruitment uh, of domestic workers by agencies. Remember, before this this law was passed or before this was in the, introduced by the government of Qatar, different recruitment agencies will charge different amount of money at one moment of time, depending on what nationality you have. So, uh, meaning uh, there was a little bit of hiking 
the recruitment fee and most uh, most employers or most people that wanted to recruit to my sector uh, uh, help us would not afford at that time because they were denied the chance so in this in this to combat this that's when the government comes in to fix its its uh, its cap or its uh, recruitment fee that all the recruitment agents should follow and uh, in case of any recruitment agency that all fails to follow, then they will be uh, punishable by the law or they will even uh, be removed of their license in one word. That is part what the government says. The new measure looks at efforts to combat the unofficial increase in the cost of recruitment of domestic workers by agencies. The recruitment fees include the following. If you are going to recruit a domestic worker from Indonesia, you need to pay 17,000 Qatarial. And if you are going to, to recruit a domestic worker from Sri Lanka, you pay 16,000 Qatarial. Domestic worker in Philippines, you pay 15,000 Qatarial. And a domestic worker from Bangladesh, you pay 14,000 Qatarial. And a domestic worker from India, you pay 14,000 Qatarian. And a domestic worker from Ethiopia, you pay 9,000 Qatarian. For a domestic worker in Kenya, you pay 9,000 Qatarian. The recruiting agencies are obligated to guarantee for employer a nine month probation period for the domestic workers. So remember, we talked about the probation period and I told you that the probation period of domestic worker was changed from three months to nine months, meaning that this recruitment agency, uh, that is, this recruitment agency has to give a guarantee to the employer or the person who is coming to hire a housemaid or a domestic worker that the probation period should be signed in the contract and the probation period is nine months. In the first three months of the employer, the, in the first three months, the employer has a right to terminate the contract and recover the total amount of the money paid to the recruitment office. However, during the additional six months probationary period, the license, the license, the license shall guarantee the return of the sum paid by the employer minus fifteen percent of the total amount due for each month. The worker spent in the employer's service. However, still something to note: during this this the additional probation period, it will also cover the government fees incurred if the worker the worker runs away uh, or the worker is ill or is suffering from some chronic diseases. However, the government still stressed that it's it, that the employer's rights could be decline if the employer breached the contract to sign with the recruitment agency regarding the treatment of domestic worker in one way or the other. So that is the new uh, the new cap of the recruitment fees that we are being introduced by the government uh, regarding the different domestic workers from the different nationalities. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon for more of this interesting notification and more of this interesting information. Uh, it's makes from the next creation. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of the interesting.